Hi everybody, I hope you like today's look. First, I'm going to start out by defining my eyebrows. And this time I'm using a brow gel and powder. Um, I think it's a little bit too dark for my liking, but this is what I used today. You just put the powder on and then you set it with the gel. Next, I am going to do my concealer. So I'm just going to put that on my dark circles and my chicken pox scars that I love so much. Then I'm going to use this foundation brush and I'm going to pat and especially around this area you want to pat. Your eye area is pretty delicate. After that I'm going to put a primer on and I'm going to pat using the same foundation brush. I love this brush. I actually started using it again and I forgot how much I loved it. Next, in every palette you get like three different colors, light, medium, dark, and so you can use any color. I'm starting off with the medium shade. I'm going to apply that to my eyelid and work that up. Then I'm going to take the lightest color and I'm going to apply the lightest color underneath my eye and work it down. Here I'm taking the darker color and putting that just above my crease. I'm going to work that in and it looks kind of bad at first, but then when you start blending and adding more of the light and medium tones on the top and bottom, it all works out and it looks a lot prettier. This is definitely a defined crease look. Next, here's just the medium. I'm going over with the medium color along the bottom. The light was through the top. Now I'm going to take this frosty highlight color and I'm going to use that as a highlight. And I'm also going to be using this a lot in this look. So I'm also going to drag it under my eye. <laughs> That's my son, sorry. So I'm dragging that under my eye. And then I'm going to get the darker color with a pencil brush and use that kind of like an eyeliner. I'm going to drag that under my eye. And I'm going to flick it out and then bring it back over the top lid. I've really been doing this a lot lately and it looks really pretty. Next I'm taking this brownish black liquid pen liner, the kind you have to shake, and I'm just going to redefine that line around my eye. And I'm just going to bring it out more on the outer edges and very finely through the inner edges. Just for definition, here's some mascara. Um, I really like this mascara. It's I just got it with the liner at five and below, and it was like four something. So here I'm just defining my eyes. Then I'm going to take this zero from Urban Decay, and I'm going to line my upper and bottom water lines. For added definition, even though this really irritates my eyes, I really like the way it looks. Then I'm going to seal that with a dark eyeshadow, just placing that on top of wherever I put the liner. And for something just a little bit different, I'm going to take this shine and I'm going to apply that to my lid and underneath my eyebrow. You just want to add a little bit because I actually added too much and I had to reapply some of my shadow. Here I'm defining that edge and I'm applying the white frosty color um, where you saw. And here is just a highlighter and I'm using my foundation brush and it worked out really well with that. Down the bridge of my nose, above my cupid's bow. Here is just a blush. I'm just brushing over the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going to define my cheekbones with a contour underneath my cheeks and under my jawline.
Then I'm going to take this clear dust and what you want to do is just set it all over your face and that just helps to keep everything together. After that I'm going to take a frosty lip liner and apply that all over my lips and follow through with a nude lipstick. Here's the final look and I hope you guys like it. Please, please subscribe if you like do-it-yourself hair and makeup videos. And have a great weekend, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.